Hi, I'm Ren. I'm Sam. I'm Tosh. Welcome back to the T-Swift Sisters podcast, a Taylor Swift fan podcast for Swifties by Swifties. In today's episode, we're talking the heiress tour Argentina, Taylor in search of expanding her property, and the drop of her holiday collection. Don't even get me started. Here's this week's Swift Scoop. I think we can all agree our last uh, podcast didn't age very well. <laughs> <laughs> our theories, our uh, clown makeup is now coming off as we really, really thought that reputation would be announced, but it didn't happen. But that's okay. We still got a lot. I feel like this weekend gave us a lot of, you know, new outfits and of course, new amazing surprise songs, but also like new, you know, Kelsey and Taylor or Tavis or however we want to call them, new content by them. So I feel like we have a lot to talk about. Where should we start? I think I think we just need to start by saying like they were not feeding us crumbs. We were at an all you can eat buffet, baby. Like we we were fed well on Saturday night. I was fattened up for slaughter almost, if you will. Okay. Like I can't. I can't. <laughs> they must yeah, no, they must have heard our last podcast when we were begging for anything because we closed out last week's episode like please give us something. We have nothing and like True. I think my entire neighborhood heard me scream at 6 a.m. on Sunday morning when I was like caught up with everything that happened. I can't. But like you're right. Let's start with Argentina and the Eras Tour and Taylor Swift kicking off the international segment of the Eras Tour. And I just want to preface that by saying international dates started now. Technically, they started in Mexico. Let's be real. That's international, but just kicked off again now for November. So she was in Argentina last weekend. She will be in Brazil this weekend and the following weekend. And then tour is actually on pause until February, I believe. So we're going to have another really, really long break for the holidays, just of tour in general, but also a great opportunity for some beautiful Tavis holiday content. True. Oh, oh goodness, and my heart is a Christmas tree farm. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that'll be maybe that'll be the post in the caption. Maybe. maybe. Like everything is icy and blue and you would be there too. I can't. Okay, maybe it'll be like them in a mistletoe under the mistletoe watching the fire glow. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, Tosh, we get us started. Catch us up on okay. the Eras tour. Let's do it. So we'll start with outfits because there were two kind of like new outfits we hadn't seen before. Um, there was a new all pink lover bodysuit, bedazzled. It didn't have the, the purples and the blues we're used to. And then there was that new blazer in the man, which was iconic. And it was I all I love pink. it so much. Mm -hmm. I, I do mean, like I'm, the first lover bodysuit better. Which, Which one? Was, Which one? The, like the original, original the one? The one we... Right. The one that I said I wanted to do for, for round two. Okay. But that's the first one. The pink that has like a touch of like purple or blue in it. Okay. Yeah. That one. I, I like that one. I do like that she incorporated a pink blazer this time. Like that's yeah. super I cute. I love it. I love the hot pink blazer with the light pink boots. They yeah. just go so well together. We okay. love it. Okay, so we know Kelsey flew into Argentina on the 10th, and he was able to attend the 11-11 show before he hit up McDonald's and left on the 12th. <laughs> Iconic. We love a man who eats some McDonald's. Um, so let's talk about everything that happened Argentina night two. We can start with the lyric change that everyone has been talking about. Karma is the guy on the Chiefs coming straight home to me. The way that the planets and the fates and all the stars aligned for this lyric, because yeah. it just as and as an SLP, I feel like you might be able to elaborate on the actual like technical terms more, but both phrases, both sentences roll off the tongue the exact same way that if you didn't know that that was not the original lyric you would never you know would, because it right. fits perfectly yeah same amount of syllables which is why it fits in so well oh my goodness 
karma is the guy on the chief's coming. Like, I can't. I don't know if society as a whole will be, a, will be able to ever sing the original karma lyrics ever again. No, True. probably not. I feel like this is going to be like a new, like from here on out, this is what's mm-hmm. going to be yelled at in, in concerts. Yeah, because if you watch the videos from, from 1112, Taylor saying, karma is the guy on the screen coming straight home to me. They all saying karma is the guy on the chiefs and like it's not even that like it was her saying it then the little giggle she does after saying it like look at what i just did then the footage of all of her dancers reacting to it in real time like what the heck just happened and then the actual footage of inside the tent where Travis and Scott, Papa Swift, are reacting to it as well. And like Papa Swift is the hype man that we never knew we needed. That's what I was going to say. He was I, so excited for him. He was so excited for him. And I think that I almost picked up his reaction before I even picked up Travis's reaction because Papa <laughs> Swift was just being the absolute most I can't like all night with the, the, the lanyard, lanyard. The chiefs, all of it. Mm-hmm. I can't like he precious gem of a man. He was everything that night, honestly. And like he actually hit, hung out with them the night before. So eleven ten, you mentioned was when Travis flew in. That show was canceled because of of the rain. It was just mm-hmm. too much. I heard reports that Taylor wanted to keep the show on because you know she doesn't mind. But Argentina, city of Buenos Aires, was like, no, Taylor, like we really can't. It is a completely outdoor stadium. You know things are different in another country. But that being said. Taylor and Travis went out to dinner and they went with Papa Swift and he was just so happy to be there with them too. He's so cute. I wonder if he had like a heads up from her or something like, oh, like keep a listen out for karma because he was so intent on watching like right before the lyric change. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like he was waiting for, for something like you could see anticipation in his face. So it was it was just a cute moment. I was just curious if maybe like he had a heads up, but I loved it. And then also, this is just a question. Were there always red fireworks after that line? Like that wasn't... So like the lyric change happened and then there were red fireworks. Yeah, you... So you saw the show in SoFi and Atlanta, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Those are both closed stadiums. There are... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Cuz yeah. I was like, "Oh my gosh, she chose that because it's the Chiefs colors." <laughs> <laughs> no, but like uh, skipping ahead a little, I did hear, I don't know how true this is, so take it with a grain of salt, that during when Taylor performed Endgame as the surprise song, the lights on the bracelets flashed red and yellow, mm, like Chiefs colors. You're right. I mean, I don't know. Obviously, we weren't there, so we can't say, like, we saw it firsthand. I have not seen a video of it. It's just, like, word of mouth that's Mm -hmm. passed through, but I can't. can't We should have seen this coming, judging her her expressions during Labyrinth performance. That was was our clue. That was our hint that we were getting more. We got crumbs, and then we got the whole meal. But Labyrinth... Labyrinth was the night before he even got there, so I... Like, she was happy... But that reaction of her singing, like, like very loving. I'm falling in love again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah actually, I'm, I, I love that you pointed out that song because just today, so Monday, November 13th, Taylor uploaded a video on her actual Instagram, something she literally never does, especially of like a video of her performing at the concert. And it was of her singing the song Labyrinth. I love how like her caption is just literally like, if she was a fangirl. Oh, Taylor, look at Taylor doing this, that she'll never beat the, the, I don't know the English word for it. I wanted to say brujeria allegations. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know exactly what it is that she said, but she basically like the witchy allegations yeah. and she's singing labyrinth. And I feel like the whole video is about the plane that's going down behind her because in the lyrics, she's talking about like, I thought this plane was going down. How'd you turn it right around? But so much of the leading up to that is like the the lyrics of like the I'm falling in love again. And I feel like it's just so focused on that, really. Yeah. Like it's supposed to be the plane. But all I can focus on is like Taylor singing about like being in love again. And I can't. Professing her love. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then the, uh, the surprise songs on the night that he was there. I know. Okay. First of all, like 
we knew Matt. I just want to say we predicted mashups a year ago when we created our own eras tour. We said out of the woods was going to be a mashup. We We did. We just mashed it up with question because those are like, you know, connected songs. But I wonder, I wonder if it's like a possibility that is it over now out of the woods and question all could be matched up together. Mm-hmm. And, and I feel like I it have, can. I feel like it definitely like we're not music creators or producers. Like I don't I don't toggle in that. But my my question is, does that mean out of the woods is is it over now? Like can it be played again? Mm. Or is it does it just belong to like that one time that it was played with is it over now? But then that also Do you goes, mean because it's a mashup? Like is it not counted? Yes. Right. Like or okay. is it counted? But I guess that also goes back to my question. We were talking about this last week of when the Eras tour restarts again. Yeah. Because like if there's only a few shows left, she's not gonna play out of the woods like that close anyway. But like maybe when she starts again in February, will she play Out of the Woods alone? Will it always be a mashup now? I think there's a possibility of getting it as a full single song. I agree with that because it was only like it was the song was Is It Over Now? She just included a little bit of Out of the Woods. Yeah. And I think honestly, everything is fair game once the tour starts up again in February. Like I think just last tour or not last tour, but last year. So all the shows in 2023 erased and like we start fresh. Yeah. For every start. That's the way I, th- I think it's going to be. Uh, but I like that you pointed out, is it out of the woods and out of, and is it over now and out of the woods mashup? And then her singing end game after, because we are still having this trend and like I, as it continues to happen, I don't know if it's on purpose or not, but almost everything that we think could be on purpose sometimes is usually on purpose. And like that is now the third or fourth time that Taylor has done the 1989 song into the rep song. Mm-hmm. And there's yeah. only one rep song that hasn't been, no three. I lied. There are three rep songs that have not been played on the airs tour. We are missing, this is why we can't have nice things, dancing with our hands tied, and so it goes. Mm. Yep. I can definitely see the last two as surprise songs. I feel like, uh, I feel like this is why we can't have nice things could be like, uh, like a replacement on the actual set list just because of the vibe, the tune, like it could be a very like hyped song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of like dramatic. Um, I don't know. I'd be I'd be curious to see as a surprise song. I mean, she could do anything, but I don't know if she's saving them on purpose. Well, I feel like this also goes back to the conversation that we had last year when we were trying to figure out how surprise songs were going to work. Because I I go back to us thinking about Getaway Car, like how was that going to work as a surprise song? But then again, we talked about how these songs originated acoustically. So Mm -hmm. I don't. I think that you you take down the production out of it, you strip down the song and that's where it was. So I think it works as a surprise song, no matter what. And I think the Eras tour has shown us that every single one of her songs works as an acoustic song, but because that's just like the the kind of musician that Taylor is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could could try to do a little recreation of this is why we can't have nice things. Acoustic. Okay. Yeah. Ready? By the T Swift sisters. Three, two, one. Whoa. It was so nice. <laughs> Come on, you know she's going to use her voice for that part. Okay, <laughs> you were literally like, why were you singing the tune of You Need to Calm Down? I feel like is like where that was going. No, the Whoa! it was so nice. The, I know exactly. It was so nice is what I feel like was giving you need to sound. <laughs> but I know I know the sound it that you're so doing. It was so nice. <laughs> you know what? I think I need to hear a little bit more to just continue to <laughs> say the up. sample's over. Okay, but really quick before we move on, I mm-hmm. did want to talk about the Better Than Revenge and then Slut surprise mm-hmm. songs for 11-12 because I think it's like a little bit, not punny, but like a little that like, you know, the better than revenge line that was taken taken out. 
mm-hmm. like alludes to slut. And then that was like the second song. I just thought that was like clever. Like, I don't know if she like meant to do it, but I like sure. connected it in that way. She's so crazy. And like just the whole thing about it was insane. Like the better than revenge is the slut, the crowd chanting reputation. Mm-hmm. And like, I feel like that whole, those entire five minutes are exactly why reputation was never planned for 1110. Like, I think if it was planned for 1110, I feel like so much stuff has to go into it Mm -hmm. to make it work that like, if it was going to be 1110 and she couldn't do it because she wasn't like the show didn't go on, she was going to have to do it on 1112, especially to yeah. make up for the crowd right. that was going to be there or whatever. And I think her reaction to the crowd chanting reputation just also tells us like we were just clowning way too hard yeah. and like not, not super though, because the S is definitely a snake. Yeah. So what, what, what about that? Yeah. Mm. Like reputation is definitely coming. I just think maybe, you know, we saw that, that theory that I sent you guys that somebody on Twitter created that every 122 days or something is the new saw is the new release, whatever. So we just have to see, I guess that means our next clowning day is 1129 if that goes correctly. So we will clown together that week (laughs) and we'll see what happens. If not, I think we just pack up our bags move on and wait for those crumbs to fall right i love how that pause between okay people chanting reputation her like listening and then it's like she scolded us like now go stand in the corner and think about yes. like, it yeah. and i was like i'm sorry yeah i'm sorry for clowning with she's rap, literally I- like i have given you two albums and you're chanting to really? me that you want a third like please stand over there like like what makes you think that we yeah. need to give vault tracks their love their spotlight their time so we need to chill out yeah let them you know have their moment and then, then we can clown right. again yeah right And that is the way to do it. Like she out of anyone would know. And like, she's being smart about it, letting us like bask in every new album and like not having one overpower the other, like just Mm -hmm. give us our time. It's fine. It's fine. Which is what I said on last episode. I was like, no, I really want rap to have its moment. So thanks Taylor. I'm glad you listened last time. Yeah, I, I also think it, it works strategically because she knows that we want it so bad. And she, at the end of the day, she's the one that knows when it's going to come out and we don't. Yeah. So her knowing that we were all clowning for an 1110 release, knowing that we're all waiting for it and then not, not doing it m- just makes us want it even more. It is very much the thrill of the chase and it ends up making the album so much more almost appealing in a way like everybody's going to want their hands on reputation the minute right. that it's announced, like all of that stuff. So I think it goes into some marketing strategies too, you know, for our little Capite list. Capite. All right. <laughs> all right, Tosh, take us into the next story. All right. So moving on, shifting gears, the queen herself seems to be finding a way to celebrate her recent billionaire status, which we talked about last pod, by searching for a new mansion in Europe. So according to The Sun, Swift's team has reached out to a Portugal-based realtor on her behalf, and it seems that she is looking for available properties in Portugal, Spain, and Morocco. Now, I'm not sure if it means like she's looking at all three places because she wants all three or just one of the three. Like region, you think? Right. Like, okay. I'm not sure if she wants one in each or just like in any of them. So we know that she currently owns homes in New York, in LA, Tennessee, and London. So this expansion to Europe would be beyond the UK and it'll give her that privacy and that flexibility that maybe she's looking for at this point in her life and her career. And we know that Kelsey just got that new mansion too. So Mm -hmm. I wouldn't put it past her. (laughs) Yeah, actually, it's funny because I think that the mansion that he bought has a lot of the Spanish architecture. So it's nice that she's like looking for something Portugal, Spain, you know, that kind of stuff. But honestly, cool. yeah. I love that for her. I know right? every I can't say myself, I've never been to Europe, but I know everybody 
who is like, oh, you haven't been to Europe. You definitely have to go. They will always say Portugal and Spain immediately. Yeah. Portugal has a lot of wine. So does Spain. We know Taylor's a white wine girly. So I love that, mm-hmm. you know? And I mean, she deserves to purchase however many homes she needs slash wants because at the end of the day, whether or not we agree with all of her uh, marketing tactics and capitalism, <sighs> She has worked hard for her money and like right. rock on girl. If you, you got it, boo. flaunt it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I love this for her. Same. Maybe she'll have like the next TS11 uh, secret sessions will be like in her Portugal mansion. Stop that. How cool oh. would that Oh, be? let's manifest that. I don't think we'd get invited because I think they also do that by region. But I right. mean, we could pretend like that's super cool. Yeah, we national Swifties, here's a chance. Okay, the last thing that we're going to talk about today is the holiday collection drop. And I know when this episode comes out, it's going to be Wednesday. So happy Wednesday to you guys. And the collection actually dropped on Monday. But the collection tends to stick around for a while. They usually put so much that like not everything sells out and they'll keep it on the website through the holiday season so that you can continue ordering gifts, finding things for your loved ones, picking out stuff. Maybe you didn't get paid this week, but you're going to get paid next week and there's something from that collection you really want. We're just going to kind of like dive right in. I do have to say that the holiday merch drops are always so chaotic because they release so much from every era that your wallet is like panting your credit card is like almost like falling apart in shreds like it's like please help me (laughs) but at the end of the day like they have such good stuff like I don't know what happens to UMG throughout the year when they're producing merch that's like Mm, cute mid yeah Mm, okay yeah mid is the absolutely perfect word for it because they always They literally never fail to pop off during the holiday season. Like they have that one graphic designer who lives and breathes the holiday season to make the (laughs) merch for holiday because I cannot, I cannot. (laughs) This year we had so many ornaments. There were a lot of ornaments that have been released in the past that were re-released for this drop. So good news for you if you kind of saw something last year that you weren't able to get your hands on, it sold out. They have a lot of stuff this year and they have more ornaments for each era. So I love that last year for debut. The only ornament that they had was the ball with like the debut Taylor on it. This year they had a debut guitar. I love it. I bought that one. I'm not going to lie. They (laughs) have the fearless guitar. They have, I think my personal fave from the ornaments and I did not purchase them were the cardigans. So you could purchase the speak now cardigan. Like if you love the cardigan, but it's just not your vibe, you can purchase the mini version of it for $20 and it hangs on your Christmas tree. Speak now and 1989 both have one. They added the lover snow globe ornament. So I was going to say that, but I do want to preface that with it is currently sold out. And then that kind of is just going to, you know, where I'm going to say next is that a lot of the stuff in the holiday merch sold out so fast this year. They did it so cute. So they had, they announced that the merch was dropping at three o'clock and they had the Eras Tour clock on the website. (sighs) Yeah. You could not enter the website. You just saw the clock ticking down for like over an hour. It was on there for a really long time. Yeah, it was so long. 89 minutes. Yeah. And I was in there. Like I had that thing. I was on the page when it opened. I blacked out in the queue. I tend to do that a lot and spend all my (laughs) money every time. But like the cardigan ornament, the original cardigan ornament sold out from my cart while I was checking out. That's how fast things were going. And it was just so insane. They also had a lot of like merch that would just pop up and you had to grab it in one minute or you never saw it at all. The King of My Heart blanket from the original rep era was re-released. There was a brand new rep jacket. So this one's still on the site. The last time I checked, it's available in the extra small, small size, a hoodie for rep. And on the back, it says there will be no explanation. There will just be reputation. And like, love that one. do we think, because it's not an old merch item that came back. It's yeah. a new item. Do we think? 
this could potentially be an Easter egg. Because the thing is also, it was at the top of the sweaters. Like when you opened the merch shop, it's like the third thing that comes out. Yeah. I don't know. Like, am I, is it too far fetched? I think so. Yeah. I just like, <laughs> Not us both being like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're just like thinking about a collection that has been out for six years and nothing new ever comes out of it, and then all of a sudden this year they have yeah, but a new every shirt. Yeah, but collection had a new thing of clothing. But everything except for debut and rep is out already. Right, but like every era had new clothing for the holiday collection. For the hol- She's saying for the holiday drop. Like yeah, we got okay. New stuff. Okay, fine. I'll give it to you. There was a Tim McGraw sweater. I love it so much. We never get anything debut. There were also debut yeah. guitar picks. Guys, for real, like if you have a Swifty in your life that you love, shop the holiday collection because the stuff is just so freaking cute. But also, the like, don't feel bad if you can't. The folklore pullover mm. is so freaking cute. I wanna- Wait, I don't think I love it so much. It's like yeah. almost like a cable knit sweater toss. Yes. And it says folklore mm. across the front. It is very cute. And, and it's like a gorgeous color. I love the color too. Yes. Yep. Yeah, we love her. Mm-hmm. Love her. A lot of keys. Okay, so I wanted to go through some of the stuff that has sold out but was on the website when the sale started, the holiday collection. This is just stuff that was like disappearing, but it goes to show you like all of the merch that they still have. I don't know, you know? King of My Heart Blanket, that one came back for like a millisecond. That is like a lot of people's like biggest ISO. The Folklore Original Cardigan Ornament, they had the original one and the green one, both sold out, gone completely. The Lover Snow Globe ornament, the Speak Now Snow Globe, the Red TV Argyle sweater. You know which one that is? Like with the, it has the Super triangles cute. on it. Super cute. Yeah. Red TV signed CDs came back. What? Yeah. Rep Stadium Tour hoodie, Folklore Variants came back, Folklore Cardigan yeah. single, like the vinyl single, and the Lover Live from Paris vinyls. They came back. They came back. And it's and, gone. And it's gone. <clears throat> so, yes, the Lover Live from Paris vinyls came back. There was so much stuff that literally just like came back and would disappear. And I mentioned earlier when I was saying my list, Speak Now Snow Globe. But this one, I believe it hasn't sold out. And the way that you access it slash find it on the store is a secret. You can't just find it on the regular like Speak Now album page. When you open the store, it takes you kind of like to the lover house and it's Christmas. And then you hover your mouse around a little. And over on the top left, if you hover, it shows up the collection name. It's called All the Stars Align Collection. And that's where you can purchase the Speak Now Taylor's Version Frame Snow Globe. It's $50. Not terrible. Free shipping. But, like, why is this the All the Stars Aligned collection? And there's only one item. Like, It's not a collection. (laughs) Yeah, it's not a collection. But, like, maybe they add more stuff. I don't know. Like, they just randomly come in and add more. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So the holiday collection opened officially on Monday. It should be open, I would say, probably until after the holiday. But I do want you guys to keep an eye out because – The Taylor Swift store also does a Black Friday collection or Black Friday sale where they will take a lot of the merch and kind of just slash it really cheap. So I know that there were some items on this merch drop that were on last year's Black Friday sale for like $20.15. Really, really affordable. Like these pieces on this year's merch drop are like $50, $60. And they were as low as $10 last year. So just keep an eye out for Black Friday merch. It's definitely going to come. I don't know. I have like, I don't have a lot of notes on the holiday collection because I will say I'm very pleased with it this year. I think there were a lot of amazing things. The only thing that I did have a note on that I did want to point out is like, where was the Eras Tour merch holiday stuff? Like, I was fully expecting there to be like one item that has all the eras on it or like an ornament. You know, the, the, Eras Tour pullover that has like the graphic with all the tailors on it in black and white. Yeah. 
the poster, but it's the black and white version on a on a full sweatshirt. That could totally be one of those ball ornaments. So, so like an Eras Tour. Yeah, like ornament. an Eras Tour branded Christmas collection. We were Cute. missing that this year. I was really excited for that. And a Christmas tree farm cardigan. I also need that in my life. Oh they, my God, I know. That would be perfect. They do have like a Christmas tree farm pullover. It's just like... It's so hot in Miami. I can't keep doing the hoodies and the pullovers as much as I You're want too to. Many. Yeah. Yeah. I mean pullovers are not that bad like crew neck, but I think I think a Christmas tree farm cardigan would just be the perfect like holiday season, you know, add on to the look. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Cuz it matches the weather too, so it's like right. Yes. Perfect. perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. It's like you want to be drinking hot cocoa and listening to Christmas Tree Farm while while wearing it. But Take notes, UMG. Yeah, take notes, UMG. Stick around for the Black Friday sale. It'll come soon. Pick up your holiday merch. Shop it. Head to store.taylorswift.com. A little life hack is that you can visit the Canada and Australia websites as well. The stuff will be priced differently, but sometimes stuff that sells out on the US store will be available there. So you can try and shop there too. But before we wrap up this week's episode, I just want to say that we are still waiting for the Tavis Halloween content question mark. I it's out there. I know for a fact it's out there because he had a Halloween dinner party. Halloween was on a Tuesday. Kansas City is all of the NFL has Tuesdays as their day off. And we also know it is confirmed that he did have a holiday holiday. Listen to me Halloween party. So their costumes are floating out there in the multiverse somewhere. It could be like maybe it's like a photo dump that he does for Taylor's birthday in a month. I don't know. But we're going to find out. We are going to find out what they were for Halloween. I will die on this hill. True. Have we tried Googling it? Because I haven't. No, but oh, there's nothing. Seen it. Yeah, no. They would have. Yeah, you're right. You're yeah. Right. Literally, when the show got canceled, Entertainment Tonight, ET Online, whatever, their news story. I am so disappointed in you if one of you writers works or somebody who works for ET Online, whatever, is listening to this podcast. Their article was that Taylor Swift's tour, Argentina show date, was canceled on the same day that Travis Kelsey showed up to the Eras tour, like saying that it was canceled because he was there, not because it was literally a monsoon and Are Taylor was literally not going to be able to perform. Yeah. So And she probably wanted like she wanted to. So No, yeah, she did want to. So shame on you and like do better about that. We are all women and we champion each other instead of tear each other down. It's not a new story that Travis was there. And that the tour was canceled. They're not the same thing. The tour was canceled for one day and Travis just happened to be there. My right. goodness gracious. So <laughs> I get it right. Yeah. And that. we will continue to live for the hope of it all and wait for our crumbs to fall into our lap. <laughs> like we did this weekend and it happened. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it won't happen for a while again because like I said, Taylor's in – in Brazil this weekend. She's in, I believe, Rio this weekend. And then like Sao Paulo, I think. Mm -hmm. The weekend after. And Travis Kelsey will very much be playing football. So he has his job, you know. But we're going to see them soon. I know. I feel like the next Tavis content we're going to get is her birthday. Because she'll be, she'll like have wrapped up these shows. He will still be playing football. But like she'll be around. We'll make you know? time. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, so I love it. All right. Yay. I think that about wraps up this week's episode of the Tiso Sisters podcast. Before we log off, please remember to follow our podcast on your listening platform by clicking the plus button next to our show and give us a rating. It takes two seconds to do all of that, and that way you get notified when our new episodes come out. Please also remember to follow us on social media for live Taylor Swift news updates like merch drops, Black Friday, holiday, you know, and Tavis content. <laughs> you can find us on Instagram and TikTok at T Swift Sisters Pod or Twitter slash X at T Swift Sisters. Thanks for savoring this week's Swift Scoop. We hope you've had your fill of all things Taylor Swift, and we'll see you next week right here on the T Swift Sisters podcast. Bye. Bye.